Also, the video of Kyle Rittenhouse dropping to the floor after he was acquitted of murder last week continues to captivate the nation. And tonight, we hear from Rittenhouse for the very first time since those verdicts were read in an exclusive Fox interview. Take a listen. This case has nothing to do with race. Um, it never had anything to do with race. It had to do with the right to self-defense. Fox 35's Christy Kern joins us live here in the studio tonight with more of this interview. Christy. Luann, John, it really doesn't matter what side of this you are on. People on both sides were really interested to hear what Kyle Rittenhouse had to say tonight. In an exclusive sit down interview with Fox News, Kyle Rittenhouse detailed to Tucker Carlson what happened from his perspective on the night he shot and killed two men during a protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin in 2020. I go back to car source lot number two and I tell everybody there what happened. I said I had to do it. I, just, I was just attacked. I was dizzy, I was vomiting, I, I couldn't breathe. A jury's not guilty verdict sparked protests across the country last week, even though Rittenhouse says it wasn't about race. It never had anything to do with race. It had to do with the right to self-defense. Others, including here in Central Florida, do not agree. The trial would have been over right away if it was uh, those that are color. Nicholas Maldonado organized an end white supremacy rally Tuesday in Orlando. He is hoping people will come to protest peacefully. We're not saying that all lives don't matter, but all lives won't matter until black lives matter. Well, that rally is being held tomorrow at 4 p.m. at the intersection of International Drive and Central Florida Parkway. On the other side of this, one Florida representative thinks the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict should actually be celebrated even as a national holiday every year. We'll hear his reasoning behind it coming up on Fox 35 News at 11. In the studio tonight, Christy Kern, Fox 35 News.